can somebody tell me what in the hell has gotten into the females today in battle rap? Like, yo, there's so much stuff going on right now. Today alone, it's like crazy. All right. So I guess Jazz the Rapper and Sue Surf did a show. I don't know if it was on Instagram, where, I don't know. But apparently, Jazz the Rapper said, battle rap would not miss sleep if Misfit never battled again. Misfit caught wind of that. And she dropped a video today, her own blog. Okay, uh, the blog will be pinned in the comment section. Like, bruh, she revealed that Jazz is actually a police officer. Not a police officer, but a, um, a dispatcher, a 911 dispatcher. Now, look, niggas are asking me what I think about that. Fuck what I think about that. Someone asked me, do I think Jazz should get kicked out of the culture because of that? Bro, this is entertainment. This is not a way of life. Like straight, like I hope we are all on the same page about that. We are not that tunes in the battle rap that we forget that you're supposed to have a job. So because she's a 911 dispatcher, she's supposed to leave the culture. That's crazy. And then the niggas just like, yo, yeah, because she can get someone indicted. Now, a lot of this I feel like came from Misfit blog. And I really wish Misfit had saved this for a battle because this would have been a haymaker third, just the shock value alone. And then her third was dope. It would have been crazy. Because Misfit had pictures of jazz and uniform and everything. You know what I'm saying? And Misfit is just like, yo, I don't feel comfortable talking about the dirt I do uh, on the same stage as you. And like, she's really going in on jazz. But it's obvious that's because of the comment. She doesn't make that blog if jazz don't make that comment. You see what I'm saying? I don't feel like the fans should run with that to that magnitude that now they're questioning whether jazz should actually still ever battle again. And battle rap, that's actually crazy that people are that gullible and really would think that. That's insane to me. That's really fucking insane to me. Some of you niggas got police officers in your family. It's an occupation. It's a, oh, oh, Jazz can get someone locked up. Nigga, Kiki just said she got raped by math. He's not in jail. I would think if Jazz had the power to do that, one's going to get a wild, crazy raise. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? That's not going to happen, bro. This is the same girl who was a virgin forever. This is the same girl who didn't want to battle because she was in college. She was doing all the right things. Like, Jazz was the main one who was doing all the right things. Like, I wouldn't knock Jazz because she got a fucking job. Like, I think that shit is crazy. That's just me personally. Now, as far as the shock value goes, I think that was dope. But I still think it would have been better in a battle because they should battle. If you ask me, they should battle. Jazz got bars. Jazz got delivery. Jazz could got performance. Jazz got she she's she has a wild fan base. You know what I'm saying? Like she she got charisma. Shell she even got the looks. Like Jazz is 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 good. Is Jazz a legend? Is Jazz a vet or a legend? I shouldn't even say that. Is Jazz on Mount Rushmore for the females? That's what I should ask. Order them four in order. Don't just throw the names out there. I want to see what we doing. Where is Jazz at after all this time she's battled? She's been battling. Like what what are we doing with Jazz in her career? Is she on Mount Rushmore? Do y'all think she fell off? Do you think she's not as hot as she used to be? Don't forget the official battle. You know what I'm saying? The, the hustle battle was edited, so we don't really know what the hell is going on then. Uh, the E-Heart battle, like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Jazz got some battles that, that's kind of close, but Jazz is fire. Now, as far as me personally, I've always been a Misfit fan. Always. The only one thing, the one thing I didn't like about Misfit, and it's not even I didn't like her, I questioned her first round versus QB. If you go watch that ground time battle, uh, Misfit first round, it sounded like Cortez wrote that. The entire flow, everything was caught was Cortez. The only difference was, I think I even seen him rapping, uh, rapping the words, if I'm not mistaken. Like the only difference was it was her voice and not his. Her second and third sounded like Misfit. It did not sound like that first. So to this day, I still, I could be wrong, I still feel like Cortez got that first round for her, that he wrote that. And after that, she just started doing her own thing. But I feel like Misfit got bars. She got charisma. She can freestyle. She can clown you. Jazz can clown you too, but like she can clown you. Fucking like I really think she, I feel like everything Cortez don't got Misfit got. I feel like Misfit actually has star power. The only thing that held her back, in my opinion, was she fell back from battle rap a while. So niggas forgot who she was, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really see a battle like that. So that reflected on her resume. But Misfit was always one of the first ones. Come on, B. She was right there, one of the first ones. So it's Queen Ring starting and shit. So it's just like, I've always been a Misfit fan. I low-key think Misfit is better than Cortez. 
I think everything he's missing, she got. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but his pen is fire. That I'll say. His pen is on. A, he's more lyrical. His pen is on another level. But she got that star power. I don't think Cortez has the star power. Like she, the at the female battlers, when she get in that ring and start actually doing her thing, it's not like she's just like, oh, who is this? Like she really be going in her bag. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta say that about Misfit. Shout out to her. So whatever. Okay. So she's bombing on Jazz in the blog and the third, right? So now. It transovers to Twitter, okay? And I'm looking, and I see official has jumped in the middle of the joint. And she's like, oh, Misfit acting like she ain't been have saying racist shit. And she finds a tweet that Misfit put out. And official says she, well, she thought that that tweet was referring to Pop Smoke. Because she was like, oh, y'all is stupid. Y'all killing your own kind. So they just like, y'all, like, like trying to make it seem like who's y'all? Like, you talking about black people, y'all? So Misfit's like, nah, those are from people from my neighborhood who killed each other. And then Cortez jumped in it and he he backed that story up and said, and on top of that, they were both Hispanic, not black. So I guess, you know, she bombed on Jazz for being a cop. They try to say that, make it look like Misfit was a fucking uh, racist. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. This I want to see a battle now. I want to see a battle now. Can we lock this in now? Misfit, yeah, I know you said you don't want to. Can we lock this battle in now? Let me know who y'all got, Jazz the Rapper, or do you got Misfit? And then, and then moving along, okay, I look, and Casey J and Coffee Brown are going back at it forth. So I'm like, what the hell going on? I'm reading it. So they had a battle. And from what I can see, it looked like Coffee Brown did very bad and had to redo her rounds over. Now, I guess it started, shout out to Let's Talk Battle Rap. Uh, uh, Let's Talk Battle Rap. I feel like, I guess he had a show. I didn't hear, but I seen his symbol, so I know it has to do with him. And I guess on his show, I could be wrong, but on the show, Casey J says she let Coffee Brown redo her rounds because she wanted the battle to drop. Coffee Brown caught wind of that and said, no, she redid the rounds because I guess Avocado asked her to because of the lighting. But then Casey J was like, yeah, but... You know what I'm saying? You had to do your first round over like twice and your second round over twice. And then I had to I wait 30 minutes and later. You 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 got your shit together for 30 minutes and came back with a whole new second and third round. Which it sounded crazy, honestly. So it was just like, whoa. It sounded like Kofi Brown did bad. And my thing about that is this. Kofi Brown, don't get mad. Don't get mad. If you had showed up prepared, you wouldn't even be going through this. So don't get mad. You shouldn't be mad at the fact that she's saying what happened. You should be mad at the fact that you wasn't prepared. Casey J is definitely a good opponent. You should have been prepared. Be prepared. Fuck all this standing Geechee Gotti corner shit. Be prepared. Because it looks better when Geechee Gotti is running battle rap and you are running female battle rap or your top two or your top three versus he's running battle rap and you're just a mid-tier chick. You're just okay. Perfect your craft. So that y'all both could be at the top. That's what I would think should be happening. You know what I'm saying? But that's what's going on with that. And then last but not least, oh my lord. There's a battler from Ohio. Her name is Queen Vixen. Listen to this dumb shit. She decided to post her opinion on the Mass and Kiki situation. She said Mass has been around plenty of uh, females who look better than Kiki. He didn't do it. So I guess you think ugly females don't get raped. Only good looking females get raped. You don't know how fucking dumb you sounded. And I'm I'm appalled that you actually not only typed that out, but then you pressed it post and you left it there. Now everyone is tearing you around, uh, tearing your ass apart online. And I know you gotta feel stupid. Cause that was a dumbass comment right there to make. Because so because you think she's ugly, you don't think Matt raped her? Like, that's not a reason at all to make you think he did or didn't do anything. That is just stupid. You know what I'm saying? That's just stupid that you would really say that. I'm really surprised, honestly, that you went that route. I don't know if you were trolling, trying to get some attention, but you made yourself look real stupid. And I'm watching in that OTF group, and I'm seeing how they are clowning you. You know what I'm saying? But the females are on one today, boy. Oh, wait a minute. We're not done. Hold up. Last but not least. Not last but not least. So after, right? After official and Cortez know them going back and forth, I look up and Bonnie's in it now. 
So Bonnie goes, and this is the biggest body bag I've ever seen. She literally bought the body bag by herself, pulled up on Misfit, unzipped it, got inside and said, hey, zip me up. That's what you did, Bonnie. Bonnie pulls up on Misfit and goes, because they was clowning Misfit to her teeth, like, oh, you don't got no money, your teeth all messed up, like you putting sprinkling bricks in, inside your oatmeal this morning. They say all that, but you know what I'm saying? Clowning her because of her teeth. So Bonnie, I guess she got some courage, and she pulled up like, man, you keep talking about this money talk. How much you got in your account right now? And she posted a screenshot. You feel me? And one account had like 4,200. I think the other one had like 1,100, something like that. Misfit turned around and goes, okay, Bonnie, and posted her, uh, posted one account and it had like 20 bands in it, over 20,000 in it. And she was like, that's just one account. Anything else? Like, she's just like, now I'm going. Like, I was just like, yo, get out of here, bro. Like, get out of here. Like, you, like, Bonnie, I know you seen that 20,000 was just like, oh, shit. I was not foreseeing this shit coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn. And Bonnie's one of the females. Let me tell you something, B. These females are savages online. Bonnie is a savage online. She's not one of them I would want to go back and forth with. You would have to, like, really go in. You know what I'm saying? With Bonnie. Bonnie, Farrah's like that. Official can get like that. There's a couple of these female ballads who like go crazy on you online if y'all going back and forth one on one. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? So when I seen Bonnie in it, I was already like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? I know how Bonnie give it up. You know what I mean? But Bonnie, yeah, you jumped in that bag, girl. I ain't on front. You jumped in that bag. I'm going to keep letting you niggas know what's going on, man. Ain't from the fuck up. I'm out of here, man. One.